Hi, welcome to Preschool Storytime with the Long Beach Public Library. I'm your storyteller, Ms. Shana. Today's storytime is part of our Asian and Pacific Islander American Heritage Series, which is happening May 1st through May 29th. Follow LB City Library to catch the latest programs where we'll be highlighting Asian and Pacific Islander culture, food, and stories. Today we're going to be learning all about the ocean. Whether you live here in Long Beach, California, or you've enjoyed eating some poi in the Hawaiian Islands, or you've looked for mermaids in the Philippines, we're going to be celebrating ocean life today. This is a movement song about all the different animals in the ocean. First, we're going to pretend we're the waves in the ocean. What do waves do? They go up and down, right? So let's pretend we're the waves. The waves in the ocean go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the ocean go up and down, up and down. And the crabs in the ocean go snap, 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 snap. The crabs in the ocean go snap, 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 snap. And the jellyfish in the ocean go wibble wobble wibble, wibble wobble wibble, wibble wobble wibble. The jellyfish in the ocean go wibble wobble wibble, wibble wobble wibble. And the seahorse in the ocean goes forward and back, forward and Shark in the ocean goes zoom, 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 zoom. The shark in the ocean goes zoom, 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 zoom. And the waves in the ocean go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the ocean go up and down, up. Our first story is called, Is It a Mermaid? It's written by Candy Gourlay and illustrated by Francesca Kessa. Is it a mermaid? One morning, Benji and Belle spotted something on the beach. What is it? Belle wondered. It? The something replied. I am not an it. I'm a she. I know what you are, Benji said. You're a dugong. Of course not, you silly boy in a vest, the dugong said. Can't you see? I am a beautiful mermaid. See this? This is a mermaid's tail. No, Benji said, that is a dugong's tail. The dugong looked hurt. Then she brightened up. Listen to this. Stop, stop, Benji cried. What are you doing? Why, I'm singing, of course, the dugong said. Mermaids love to sing. Me too, Belle said. You can sing all you want, Benji said, but it is not going to change anything. You are a dugong. But the dugong was not listening. She was bouncing down the beach and Belle was bouncing after her. Watch, the dugong cried. Benji yelled, stop, stop, stop. I was just trying to show you how mermaids adore swimming gracefully in the sea, the dugong said. Belle ran into the water. 
I wish I was a mermaid too, she said. Benji ran in after her. She's not a mermaid. She's a dugong. Look at those flippers. Those are dugong flippers. Look at that snout. That's a dugong snout. Look at that body. That's a dugong body. And do you know what a dugong is? It's a sea cow. Oh no, Belle said. Oh, Benji. The dugong tried to hide her tears, but her flippers were too short. Benji felt terrible. I'm sorry, the dugong said, but we mermaids are a bit sensitive. Me too, Belle whispered. Benji hung his head. It's me who should be sorry, he said. I hurt your feelings. The dugong smiled. It's okay, she said. We mermaids are very forgiving. Do mermaids like to play, Benji asked. Mermaids love to play, the dugong said. For the rest of the day, Benji and Belle played with the dugong. They sang and swam and had a lovely, lovely time. At sunset, the dugong said goodbye. I have to go, she said. Mermaids never stay out after dark. Goodbye, called Benji and Belle. Will you come again? Of course I will, the dugong said. Benji and Belle walked home as the sun sank into the far side of the world. I love mermaids, said Belle. Me too, said Benji. The end. What do you think? Was it a mermaid or a dugong, a sea cow? I think if you use your imagination, she's a mermaid, huh? <laughs> this is a finger play called Five Little Fishies Swimming in the Sea. You can do this finger play with me by holding up your five little fishies and using your other hand to be your shark. I'm gonna be using a shark puppet. Five little fishies swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And he steps one fishy right out of the sea. Now we have one, two, three, four. Four little fishies swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And he snatches one fish right out of the sea. Now we have one, two, three. Three little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And he catches one fish right out of the sea. Now how many are left? Two. Two little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark. As quiet as can be. And he catches one fish right out of the sea. One little fishy swimming in the sea. 
Teasing Mr. Shark. He can't catch me. He can't catch me. Well, along comes Mr. Shark. As quiet as can be. And he missed that last fish and the fish swam free. Whee! <laughs> Our next story is called Ohana Means Family. It's written by Elima Loomis and illustrated by Kennard Pack. Ohana means family. This is the poi for our Ohana's luau. This is the kalo to make the poi for our Ohana's luau. This is the mud that grows the kalo to make the poi for our Ohana's luau. This is the water, clear and cold, that covers the mud that grows the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. These are the hands, so wise and old, that reach through the water, clear and cold, into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the stream of sunlit gold flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the rain in the valley fold that feeds the stream of sunlit gold flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the wind on which stories are told that lifts the rain to the valley fold, that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our Ohana's luau. This is the sun all bright and bold that warms the wind on which stories are told that lifts the rain to the valley fold, that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old, that reach through the water clear and cold, into the mud to pick the kalo, to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is Ohana, the loved ones we hold, who give thanks for the sun, all bright and bold, that warms the wind on which stories are told, that lifts the rain to the valley fold, that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old, that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo, to make the poi for our Ohana's luau. And there we have it, the luau. All that hard day's work, everybody pitching in and helping one another so that they can enjoy this beautiful moment together.
as the sun sets. Isn't that beautiful? This is a silly little flannel board song called A Slippery Fish. A slippery fish, a slippery fish swimming in the water. A slippery fish, a slippery fish gulp, gulp, gulp. <gasps> oh no! It's been eaten by a an octopus, an octopus squiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus gulp, gulp, gulp. <gasps> oh no! It's been eaten by a a tuna fish a tuna fish splashing in the water a tuna fish a tuna fish gulp 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 <gasps> oh no it's been eaten by a dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. You know what that is, right? A great white shark, a great white shark, zooming through the water. A great white shark, a great white shark, gulp, gulp, gulp. <gasps> oh no! It's been eaten by a... A humongous whale, humongous whale spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale gulp, gulp, gulp. Excuse me. The end. That concludes our story time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to follow LB City Library to catch more programs highlighting Asian and Pacific Islander American heritage. Take care. Bye.